Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a closer look of what we mean with the octane rating and what it means for us. To get a better understanding of what the octane rating is. First of all, we use what we call the RON. The RON means research octane number and it indicates the resistance to ignition as a result of compression. Of course, compression causes heat and heat causes ignition. We want to resist that because what happens in the engine during the compression cycle when you compress the air and the gasoline mixture and the heat generated by the compression causes the gasoline to ignite before the spark can be used to ignite the gasoline then the explosion happens a little too soon and then the timing is off and then you hear what you call the knocking in the engine and then it reduces the energy that you get out of the engine, the power that the engine can deliver, and of course it's not good for the engine, it causes more wear on the engine as well. So you want to resist the early ignition of the air-fuel mixture before it's supposed to ignite. And so you want, you want a higher octane level to, re to resist that tendency. Meaning, if the RON, the re research octane number, is higher, then we have greater resistance to knocking, greater resistance to that early ignition, and if the RON is lower, then it has a lower resistance to the knocking, more likely that it will ignite prior to when it's supposed to ignite. Remember that it is not an indicator of the energy content of the gasoline, meaning when you put a higher octane gasoline in your car, you will not get a better uh, gas mileage because you don't get more energy out of it. It just runs better if you have an engine that requires a higher compression ratio or that generates more heat during a compression cycle. You want to delay the explosion until the spark sets it off. How do we rate a gasoline? Well, it's done by comparing it to an octane-heptane mixture. As an example, as a standard, if you have a 90% 224-trimethyl pentane, this is also called isooctane, which has a 100 rating, if that is combined with a 10% mixture of, of a heptane mixture, which has a zero rating combined, that has a RON of 90, and so that's how it's compared. For example, if you have an 86% of the isooctane, or the 224-trimethyl pentane mixture, with a 14% heptane, then you only have an octane rating of 86. If you have a 90% mixture of isooctane and a 10% mixture of n-octane, which has a rating of minus 20, that actually lowers your octane rating, so you would have a 90 minus a 10% of minus 20, which is a minus 2, gives you a RON of 88. And finally, ethanol. Ethanol is something that we add to our gasoline because we can, we can generate ethanol from growing corn and producing that ethanol. It has a very high RON of 108.6. So a typical gasoline mixture may be 80% isooctane, 10% heptane, and 10% ethanol, just as an example. And that means you get an 80 out of the 80% isooctane, 80% 80 times 100. We get a zero octane rating out of the heptane because it's 10% times zero. And then we get 10% uh, of 108.6 or 10.86 rating out of the ethanol. Add the 90 plus a 10.86, that gives you a 90.8 octane rating, which would be the high level, the more expensive gasoline. And so you can see that the more heptane we add, the higher the octane level. The more isooctane you add, the higher the octane level. The more of the heptane that you add, the lower the octane level. So the expense comes in by having to have certain percentages of each of the elements going into your gasoline, and the higher octane ones do cost a little bit more than the lower octane ones because they're less useful and therefore they're easier to, to get. Anyway, hopefully that helps you understand what we mean by octane rating. It dispels the notion that you get better gas mileage from a higher octane rating because there's no more energy content. However, it does allow engines to run better, especially those that are, have a tendency to knock like the older engines where the compression causes the higher heat to ignite the gasoline prior to its normal point at which it needs to be ignited. And then, of course, that's not good for the engine, and it does lower your gas mileage in that case. And that's how we know.